Hi everyone, and welcome to the Alan Kane's Daily Blog YouTube channel. A big massive shout out to all my subscribers. Yeah. Uh, so how is everybody? I just hope everybody's okay. Me? I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad at all. Yeah. So... What's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. Um, the government has, be the Bank of England has basically turned around and said that interest rates are going to go up even more. And what one good thing is. Electricity, electricity and gas prices are, shall we say, um, going to be cut by a thousand pounds. But don't believe what you hear because if they get, don't get you with one thing, they'll get you with another. And hello, nice Rolls Royce. Nice Rolls Royce just gone past. Silver Ghost. Yeah. So yeah, you're going to get stung by one way or another. And I got a subscriber. To the channel he told me about uh, his bank yeah well he banked with National Westminster Bank and yes he got he got Stung. Right? Because he had to pay a surcharge. Yeah. Be extremely careful, folks. With these banks. So, my friend, Giles, turned round and said, right, if you're going to be like that, sod it. And the teller said, how do you mean sod it? Right. Um, I'll have two grand from my account please and she says what do you want it for he said well since you're being so snotty about me drawing money out and stuff well I'm going to I'm going to withdraw my two thousand I'm going to withdraw two thousand pounds and she said, oh, right. She says, that's the limit, isn't it? She says, uh, 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 yeah. She says, right, give me my two grand. And she said, I'm sorry, but we don't have it in the branch. It says, give me what you've got. He got £1,550. Right? And he got in his car. Right? And 
he went to his other bank and deposited his money right and he went back the next day and different cashier this time it says uh, I want to withdraw two grand so she puts the request through and said I'm sorry but we can't do that he says you what she says we can't do it I said how do you mean you can't do it we've not got that on deposit he says well well you know what you're going to do I want my money and she said uh, 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 go to uh, whatever street they'll have it for you so she rings this other branch and uh, she says they'll have it for you when you get there he gets there and he walks in produces his card and she asks him for ID right so he produces his driving licence and that photo driving licence and uh, he t turns round she turns round and says uh, will you be doing any more business with this she said he said yeah I will be he said uh, I'll be back tomorrow and you better have the mo you better have another two grand ready for me because I'll be closing my so the so he had 20 grand in his uh, in his uh, in his account and he turned around and he had to go to the branch ready for this five times over five times to get his money and I said to him don't rely on one bank don't rely on it because they turn around and bite you you know and he had an account with JP Morgan Chase and I said to him who do you who else do you bank with he says JP Morgan Chase I said get your money out he says well why he said I said to him you know that's the worst bank to be with and he said well why I says you do know when you do open a new account with them it's a hundred questions he says you're joking he says no it's a hundred questions and they ask you what your religious beliefs are uh, you know they, they, they turn round and ask what's your 
um, religious, um, re religious stuff. Are you a Mormon? Are you, you know, evangelical, Catholic, etc. I said I didn't know that. He says, oh yeah. I says, oh yeah, they do, they do that. They uh, ask you this, 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 this and this. And they basically turn round and say, well, how often would you be depositing? And they turn round, they turn round and says, none of your business. Because this is a business account. Oh, what sort of what sort of stuff do you do? It says because we can give you a business account, and and she was a bit shocked of the business that he did, because he does. Uh, construction and you know he owns a because he's self-employed and uh, it's six of one half a dozen of the other and he he turned around and he said, well, this is what he said to me. I said, he said, why should the bank stick its nose in what your business is or your re religious beliefs? And uh, I said, that's just the way it's going at the moment. He says, well, Oh, if they're going to be like that, I won't be banking with them. I'm walking along Wally Old. I'm walking down the road. And, uh, yeah. Sorry, you got the back of the phone at the moment. Yeah, so that's a load of stuff that's going on. And things are... are going to get from bad to worse and folks be ready because if inflation goes up you know if, if inflation goes up anymore right food price you know food price is going to go up by 5% and you're going to have to you know, deal with that. Go out and get it when it's cheap. If you go, like, there are days at um, a certain supermarket that they have um, <coughs> reduced prices. And It's a lot better if you if you go there at a certain time. So you've been warned folks. You know I had to go into town today because Baswell's getting it's getting like the wild wild west down there you know I went in as I went into town today I thought well it's getting mad so one of the other things that I'd heard he told me that uh, when he was at the bank they were taking the cash they were taking the cash card out hello
the 12 o'clock bus. Oh, they finish early today, don't they? With it being a bank holiday weekend. <laughs> 